So my name is Gavin Boyd and I'm the policy manager at the Rainbow Project. I've been with Rainbow for about nine years now. Uh, I think when most people think about Rainbow, they think about issues around campaigning like marriage equality or blood donations, but it's actually a really small percentage of the output of the organisation. We've got 17 staff based across our two offices in Belfast and Foyle, and most of our work is about delivering services directly to lesbian, gay, bi and trans people and their families across Northern Ireland. So that could be counselling for people who need a space to talk about their sexual orientation or their gender. It could be around accessing sexual health testing. It could be support for people who've experienced hate crime or intimidation, maybe some housing issues, or people who just want to build social relationships with other LGBT people. We would do groups, we would do different kinds of volunteering opportunities to give people the space and time to spend time together to build new skills and to build their confidence as well. So I think for, for most people who work at Rainbow, the part of our jobs that we enjoy the most is being able to see the impact um, on service users from spending time within the organisation. Um, and that really doesn't matter what, what service someone's accessing, whether it's counselling or a social group or some form of volunteering, but there will be times whenever you can see someone who comes in for their first session and they're quiet and they're maybe you know, not for making a whole lot of eye contact with people or just feeling uncomfortable. And within six or eight weeks, they're almost a completely different person. They're, they're more confident, they're more at ease with themselves, they're more comfortable being themselves and expressing themselves in a way that makes most sense to us. And, and that is, is just, it's, it's a great way of motivating yourself and telling yourself to get, to get back into work because there are always gonna be more people that need that level of support. And over the past 25 years of Rainbow's existence, that's been the most important part of our work is about changing the lives of LGBT people in Northern Ireland um, and changing Northern Ireland uh, as a part of that as well. Um, Northern Ireland is a completely different place now than it was whenever Rainbow was first set up in, in 1994 and it's never been a better time to be LGBT in Northern Ireland than right now. There are still huge things that we need to achieve to make an equal society that's respectful of everyone but it's also really important to take stock of the big changes that have happened over these past 25 years. It wouldn't have been that long ago that you would have been totally surprised to see two men or two women holding hands through Belfast City Centre and now we see that all the time. Belfast Pride went from being just 100 people moving pretty quickly down Royal Avenue to being the largest cross-community parade that goes anywhere in the city, up to 50,000 participants this year. Um, so I think that's what's inspiring for us is seeing how the, just the small amounts of work that we do with our clients and service users can feed into that bigger, broader narrative of how Northern Ireland is changing over this time. So for us, it's really important that, that clients and service users and the broader community influence and shape the work of the organization. Um, every service user who comes into the organization has the opportunity to reflect on their experiences, what worked well for them, what we could do better for the next person coming along. Um, volunteers get to shape the level of their engagement with the organization and the amount of training that's available to volunteers as well. And then every year we do uh, a state of the community survey where we ask, anyone who has any contact with the Rainbow Project to give us feedback on what we're doing well, what we could do better, what they think our priorities should be going forward. And that's led to some really innovative work over the years. Um, volunteers finding that they wanted more social interaction both with themselves and with new people led us to develop our befriending program, which is about a buddy system for people who are either new to coming out or who are maybe new to Northern Ireland. And it can be a really daunting thing to try and make friends, make new social connections. But our service users and volunteers were able to help us to shape that program so that now it's one of our most successful and popular programs in the organization. And I think that's what's really important to us is that we are the servants of our community and we try and find all those different ways in which they can help us shape our output, our delivery, and our focus. Um, we don't pick issues out of the air. We try and do what our clients want us and need us to do. And that shapes everything from how we develop services in the organization to how we engage with government and statutory services as well. And I think that's really important for all organizations is to listen to what their service users and their grassroots communities want them to do because at the end of the day, they're the people that we're here to serve.